It's Thursday? Technically? Yes. I had a dream that I could fly from my high swing. I had a dream. You know, I'm a lot like Amy. I, I tend to just put myself out there and do stuff, and um, that is kind of a rare, uh, recent development for me. But, you know, as far as, as what I do in public or what people think of me or that kind of thing, you know, I, I make absolutely no apologies for who I am. I'm not afraid to eat in public, and I think that if you are, that is just really sad. Not to say that you are sad, but to say that no one is thinking about you. You know, and, and I don't mean that in, in, a, in a negative way, not to say that nobody thinks about you. I, of course people think about you, but when you are in public and you are limiting yourself, what you eat or whether you do, whether you go to a swimming pool, whether you go into certain situations, because you think that other people are watching you and judging you, you are completely wrong. No one cares what you do or where. And if they do, they should probably get over themselves. But do you spend time watching other people and judging what they do? I mean, think about that that way. Once you don't do something because you're afraid of what someone else thinks, you give them the power to control your life. And you only get one life. Shouldn't it be yours? I'm sorry. I don't mean to get worked up, but I really just think that limiting yourself in those situations is completely pointless. My limitation is something that I don't think that I'm ready to change. My limitation is in regards to men. Um, that is not to say that I don't date. I've had two pretty interesting relationships romantically, and not to say that they weren't both great in their own right. They both were important people to me at the time. So I, I don't devalue the relationships at all, and I, I believe that everything happens for a reason. But my limitation is in putting myself in a position to be rejected. I am comfortable with me. I make no apologies about me. I love who I am, and if you don't, then that really is your own problem. That isn't to say that I'm 100% satisfied with the way I look, and I think that you all need to know that. Because I can preach to you all day about how you have to love yourself, and that's true, but that doesn't mean that every single time I look in the mirror, I think that is what I want to look like for the rest of my life, because it's not. Do I think that men find value in me as a person? Yes. Do I find it hard to believe they are attracted, attracted to me physically? Do I find that hard to believe? Yes. Because I'm not. Because if I saw me, I wouldn't want to date me. I don't put myself in a situation where I can get hurt. And I don't pursue people in that way. And I won't. I know that this is about overcoming your limitations, but I won't. Until I feel better about me. Physically. Not me but the body that I'm living in. And you know, there's a situation that I was in, and I know that this isn't always going to be the case, but it, it is important um, to know that when you get rejected, and everyone gets rejected, when you are rejected by someone who knows everything about you, someone who cares about you, someone who is entirely what you are looking for and entire knows you better than anyone knows you know better than you know yourself when that person doesn't want you back getting up from that opening your heart up again after that that's difficult and I've done it since I have but I'm just saying 
you can love me all you want, but until I am there, it's not a limitation I'm ready to let go of. This is already going to be quite the video, but I just wanted to let everyone know that if I'm not making quality videos, really, or haven't been, um, there are reasons, and I'm not going to get into them here, but the opportunity that I was presented with a few weeks ago, or a few months ago, honestly, um, is most likely not going to occur due to some personal circumstances. Um, I also will not be able to attend the meetup as it is currently. If you all want to move it to Seattle, then I can probably swing it, but... Um, it's just been, uh, last week was a hell of a week. Thursday was the worst day that I have had in a long time, and even after I posted that video, more stuff happened. Just when I thought this day cannot possibly get worse, it did. So, you know, I apologize if my videos have been lackluster. Just a side note, I was at a restaurant tonight with some uh, singer friends, and uh, my chair was definitely broken, but it was one of those, like, stool chairs, and it was broken. I know it was broken because my friend's chair did not rock, and mine did, and I leaned forward at one point, and the chair totally broke, like, like, I, like, flew forward onto the table, and basically, like, my, my boobs landed on the table, essentially, um, and the chair is just broken, and the waitress had to bring a new one, so if your day was bad, I want you to think about the fact that I broke a chair at a restaurant today. I just want you to think about it. I love you, um, I'm looking forward to hearing, um, the other three talk about their limitations this week and next week's one year. So thank you to every single one of you. I love you.